Hey guys, welcome back to WDW Gaming. Um, hopefully I've come back a lot quicker this time, um, which uh, will hopefully be happening more often. Okay, so I said I'd do the Meditrail video, but you know what? I, bad me. I, I kind of wanted to test the new machine out. I'm not, I just, I can't, I'm, at least I'm honest. Um, so, guys, I've got a new series. How cool is that? So I have been keeping this under my hat for a while because I really really didn't want to do it on the Mac because I had so many issues when I tried doing Boogie Man with the bar coming up on the side and everything so I thought no I'll wait I'll wait until the time is right the time is right well actually no no I'm a little bit behind so here's what I'm determined to do in life I am sick of being in an abusive relationship with Call of Duty. I am sure there are better shoot 'em ups out there than Call of Duty. I just need to find them. So I had a bit of a hunt around uh, and just to decide sort of what I'd want to do. And I came across a little gem from a few years ago. Um, so there's actually there's a couple of them in a package. So we're going to have quite a few play out because I think I believe it's five hours each. Um, and I came across a little gem called Metro 2033. Some of you may have heard of it. So, and I thought, actually, this looks pretty cool. So it's kind of like a Doom type style game by looks things. Now, even though I'm late to the party here, I literally haven't seen any of the gameplay on this whatsoever. I am going in completely blind. And it's been a while since I've done that on a game. Um, usually I tend to like watch the video to see how it'll stream out, do a bit of research beforehand and whatnot. Uh, but I thought this time, when I want to do a series, I want to come to all these little twists and turns and not have any knowledge of them whatsoever. So I decided to uh, take the creative decision to, sit, to, to play this from the start without looking at it. It could be rubbish, I don't know, but it looked intriguing. Um, so... What we're going to do guys is it's going to be the usual format so like i said it's about five five and a half play hours i think from what i've read um so i'm going to do this in the usual format so probably about an hour's gameplay and then half an hour to an hour's recording depending on the edits that i have to do on the video or how much i waffle throughout the video um okay then guys so without further ado let's jump in for part one of Metro Redux. And like I said, I have no idea what I'm walking into here. Again, we're, we're on this journey together if you haven't seen it before. If you have, I'm really, really sorry, but I can't do it anymore. I can't keep playing card and being so unfulfilled in life. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's jump in. Let's go to, uh, let's jump ahead in time, go to 2033 and go to the, I believe it's set in Russia. Is it set in Russia? possibly set in Russia. Let's find out. <laughs> okay then guys, so here we are with Metro Redux 2033. Russia. I was right. <laughs> It's actually not a bad idea. And our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roam the tunnels. <clears throat> you know, when all the shit hits the fan with this coronavirus thing, everyone's going to be so glad that they were gamers. Because we'll know this shit. And we'll know where to go. and what to do, and how to arm ourselves. My time will come. Yes, it will. Okay, looking good so far. So, um... Ooh. 
so this game's actually made by um, a studio called Deep Silver. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So Deep Silver um, are actually they're one of my favourite studios. They've come out with some really good stuff that just seems to get like pushed to the wayside for some reason. And uh, actually, no, no, I do know the reason. It's because COD's taking over the world, and I'm sick of it. Um, so. My door just opened itself. Hello? Okay, so my door didn't open by itself. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't heightened. It wasn't nightmarish monsters. It was just my mum. <laughs> right. Let's do it. So, play style. So, with ammo and filters and shorts, play dead. Deadlier combat and more challenging still. Survival style offers players the original survival horror orientated experience of Metro 2033 with emphasis on resource management and intense combat. Or enjoy the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of Metro Last Light when Spartan style is selected. Perfect for players who like faster paced, more ob action orientated gameplay. Ammo, filters, and other resources are also more plentiful. Okay, so I am a little bit gung ho when it comes to stuff like this, so. I am not going to go with the stealth option. Uh, you will need to closely watch your ammo and filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Is there an easy? Uh, okay. I'm a. I mean, yeah, I like to think I'm experienced, but I'm experienced in Call of Duty. That is the last Call of Duty joke I will make in this video, I promise. Right. <coughs> Brighten up a little bit so you guys on the video can see that. There we go. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. <laughs> Okay. Good start so far. When you left your home station, you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world or save it still. Good catch. Know what I could do with so my sensitivity is a little bit low. So let's just that's better. I like to be able to move quickly. Okay, and what do you crouch? Um. Bum, 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 bum. Whoops! No, I don't want. No, no. Oh, that's for using my kits. Right, okay, I've got it. <coughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> the metro systems are breaking down anyway now, I mean. Okay. Ooh, okay. Standard reload then. <laughs> Can I go in here? So what's in here? It's 
too many spiders here. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, mutated spiders. Ugh. What would a survival horror game be without a flashlight? Way. Is there anything down there? Or is just death? Is death down there? Ah! <laughs> death is not in the hole, luckily. <laughs> Would have been screwed if it was. <coughs> you expected someone to be? Okay. Anything in this room? Nope. Okay. Oh, I see a shadow. There it is. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh. Seriously, what are these things and where do they keep coming from? Uh, I didn't order any monsters. That's it, you just stand there. I will do all the work whilst monsters just apparently fall from the sky. Seriously, where have they come from? They look like they were dropping from the ceiling. Watch where you're driving, Pillock. Glad to see you, Colonel. Glad to see me? Is that how you greet all your friends? Walking this way. And once again, I ask, what did Will do? Ooh, no. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Leave me alone! Oh, ah, crap! I ran out of ammo. Oh, I think I was meant to. Mm. <coughs> mm. 
if there was ever an advert for avoiding nuclear war, gaming would be it. So we're going back in time from the prologue to even further back. For a game set in the future, it spends a lot of time going backwards. How scary is it this game will actually be like in real time in like 13 years time? That's just a freaky notion. We just realised that. Maybe I'll come back to it and play it again in 2033. Assuming the world doesn't look like that. Kids, don't waste oil. Um, what's this? Why are you using oil lamps? You have electricity. Seems frivolous. And who are these people? And more specifically, who's she? Exhibition. Okay. You've been through worse than disease. Man, you've had a hard life. Hello. Generally when people say hello, they start a conversation. What's going on in here? I don't think I want to know what's going on in there, actually. Can I get in there? Nope. Can I get in here? Nope. Ooh, can I see what's going on in there? What are you doing? Okay. Ooh. <coughs> It's like, you know when you go walk through those, like, museums that are set out, like, times in the middle of the war? I feel like I'm stuck in one of them. Hello! Random guy. They, they do really well of setting the environment out, actually. It's more the sound than anything. I do kind of, like... It's like you can almost smell it. It's weird that it's even though it's not hyper realistic graphics or anything, it's just the atmosphere. It's pretty cool. Ooh, sinister music. Sinister looking person. Ooh, what's this? Day after day our patrols go out into the northern tunnels and day after day they return bearing casualties murdered brutally and inexplicably so. Even more casualties come back alive but insane. And yet it's only by sending our friends, neighbours and relatives out there that we can keep the dark ones at a distance. And we run out of manpower to stop their attacks far enough when they arrive at the station itself will be done for. I hear people talking secretly at the station that it's just us prolonging the agony, but there's no hope for salvation. But Sukhoi, my stepfather, and the head, oh, no, next page, the head of the station still hopes for a miracle. 
He insists that an old friend of his, Hunter, can save us. Hunter is a member of the Spartan Order. Wah! A battle brotherhood sworn to protecting Metro from any and all dangers. There's nothing capable of instilling fear into the hearts of these men. At least there was nothing until the Dark Ones arrived. Nuclear war didn't put fear of God in you? Sausages. God, it is weird. I, I, honest to God, feel like I can smell this place. Interestingly enough, as well, I actually have no sense of smell because I was born with my sinuses in backwards. So clearly, my imagination is like in overdrive with this. so well put together it kind of just shows that you don't have to have like the best graphics or anything just to have the best kind of immersive experience you know Ooh. Oh, so I'm not the Spartan. Okay. Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. Thanks. Not closer yet. Hunter seems like a bit of a drama queen. He knows my name. You're just going to chuck it down. You may as well chuck it in the damn fire. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, we'll kill it. Intruder alarm in the main vent shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we need. Do I not get again? the big gun. Selfish. You not have a gun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously? Where? It's behind me. I'm shooting these things a bit too many times. Does it only take the one? Yes, it does. Shame I didn't discover that earlier. Oh! Oh, that was a cool shot! How Resident Evil of me. Oh no, it's in. It's like Boogeyman all over again. Boom, headshot. Are you all right? Whew. Damn straight, I'm a dead eye shot.
I don't know. Look like winners from where I'm standing. Drama Queen. Oh, time for a bit of slow motion shit. That's got to be like the smallest slow motion skit I've ever seen in my life. And now I feel bad for joking. <laughs> this is a lovely room of death. The devil knows what's happening out there beyond your perimeter. <coughs> I must recall the situation. Listen carefully at him. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me. I'm still in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller so he knows I've sent you. I'm not entirely sure what makes this guy the boss of me, but consider it done. Quite literally jumped on the crazy train. Finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear. Are you insinuating that I'm lazy? I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? What's that? Interesting enough, this game is based on a novel, and I'm going to show you something really cool here. It's something I've literally just seen out the corner of my eye. You see this? This is the novel that this book, <laughs> that this game is based on, <laughs> and the sequel. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what I did there. Oh, it's a guitar. Okay. <coughs> oh, I'm so musical. Did he put his postcard on the wall? Oh, he did look. So sweet. <laughs> Not quite sure when he picked it up. The task of defending our home station for the Dark Ones, enemies horrifying, mysterious and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all our efforts. We've all but forgotten our old enemies, the Norcellies and the Watchmen. I'm not entirely sure what that word is, or if it even exists. And, if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think of the carnage that would ensue should Hunter have arrived a mere hour too late. Ooh. That's okay, we just sorted that shit out. Hunter? Pff, who needs him? Right. Let's go get on the crazy caravan. Let's see what's down here first. That's quite cool. Yo. Such a lovely room you have there. What's in here? Everyone in this place has a guitar. Or a blue plate. Hello. 
Well, if we could live off mushrooms alone, we would clearly be sorted. I don't think I've ever seen so many mushrooms in one location. Oh my god, there's more over here. How many mushrooms do we need? And there's more here! I mean, I like mushrooms. Oh, hello. That's a sweet lighter. I'm pretty sure, where's my journal? Okay. No, I like mushrooms. I'm just not convinced that I could eat those many mushrooms. Are they mushrooms? They can look like mushrooms. Could be wrong. A talking door. Apparently. Busy. Gotcha. Is that you, Pete? Um, yes. Can't you open it yourself? No. Lost the keys again. Yes. Go find the keys. You know I can't get up. Well, fuck you too. Why, hello, good sirs. Are you enjoying your mushroom soup? Mushroom tea? Mushroom wine? Tin mushrooms. Everyone Get lost, is you? so fucking miserable. Oh, can't get down there. Ah, weaponry, maybe? Ah. Okay. Uh. Ah, reflex sign. Um, what's the other one? Extended barrel. Can't afford that one. Let's have a reflex sight. <coughs> and we need more ammo. Okie dokie. Can we buy weaponry yet? Ah. Use material to grade bullets to exchange at kiosk to purchase some more ammo for your weapons. Okay. Due to the substantial weight, the bullets in this caliber have great stopping power, despite the cartridges being produced in the Metro uh, Assault Rifle ammo. So we don't need any of that. Um, buy six of them. 
Okay. And we can sell. Okay. No. I want to buy them. I don't want to sell them. Buy. Right. Okay. No, I've got it. It's good. <clears throat> the whole swapping ammo for ammo thing's a bit confusing. Oh no, we've been here. It's down here. That's where I just went, was it not? Oh, here is said armory, okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Why, how kind of you, sir? A battery-powered gun. Oh no, just a charger. Okie dokie. Oh. Dude, you are like the kindest guy. You're just giving me all this free shit. Okay. Uh, okay. Accuracy's not too bad on it. Okay. Provided you use it in short bursts. Yeah, not too bad. More impressive than I thought. <clears throat> and that is me ready to ship out. Dude, I can almost feel the heat off the fire. Crazy. Everything's just so real, even though it's so fake. It's just crazy. I'm not entirely sure what's in here. Is there something in here? Okay, uh, yes. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Let's go. go. <coughs> you take that seat there too, and you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gym. Let's go there. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. I'll have to pull the lever sometimes. I can do that. Let's go then. They say labor's cheap in Russia. Alrighty then. Good luck to everyone staying home and to us too. Why? Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Look, for as long as the right works, I mean. Should be fun. Not dangerous. Even better, right? I don't share your enthusiasm, my friend. It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I had told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. Oh. 
That's the first time we've even heard he's got a stepfather. Is it not? Okay then, guys, I am going to leave it there. <coughs> so, uh, so far, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, I can't believe I haven't found this game sooner, to be honest. It's not necessarily the gameplay or anything like that. It's that environment, man. You can almost, you almost feel like you're there. It's just crazy realistic. It's very well thought out, well written, and quite well designed as well. Um, so... Uh, I'm going to be back with part two. I'm going to try not to make you wait for too long with it, although I might try and sort of mix things up a little bit because I do have a few other ideas of stuff that I want to come in the channel. Um, the Many Trail, vi Many Trail video is coming. It's just a little bit late because I just wanted to play with all the nice things on this machine. Um, I got distracted by shiny things, I know, which is bad, but can you really blame me after that unboxing video? I mean, really. Um, so guys, um, if you like what you see, as always, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will be back in the next video. And why am I going to be back? Because gamers never die, they just respawn. See you next time.